What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. So in the last video we basically ended up going down to Nipton and doing all the little side quests and stuff like that uh, here in uh, the Mojave Outpost uh, for the NCR. But one thing we didn't do and I purposely didn't talk to this individual on purpose because I wanted to start off this video with this one and that's to talk to this young lady directly uh, in front of us. Uh, her name is Cass. Uh, so we're definitely going to start off there and then from there on we're basically going to go on and do some of these other quests. I'm not sure which one we're going to go that. Uh, we're probably going to do uh, Booted first and then we're probably going to go uh, head over to Novak. So with that being said, if this is something you're excited for, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's get on with it. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Cass. Looking for trouble? Not at all. Uh, no, only looking around, that's all. Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. Um... Are you okay? All right. No, I'm not all right. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. I think that's probably because alcohol is a depressant. But anyways, what exactly are you trying to forget, if you don't mind me asking? Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. What? Why would they do something like that? My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line. And the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a New Vegas virgin. No caravans <laughs> in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed out old fuck up. I didn't mean for <laughs> scribe to tell me that. Um, I've met him actually. I don't see any problem with him exactly. That's kind of funny though. Yeah, he's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. Ah, oh, sounds interesting. Uh, I did already clear the roads, though, for Jackson. No shit. Drinks on me, then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title's still keeping me here, even though it's dead and gone. So, let me ask you something else, then. I could tell this is a pretty touchy subject for you. So let's change it up for you. Uh, can I ask you something else, though? What's on your mind? Uh, anything you can tell me about this outpost specifically? You're looking at it. It's a watering hole without much to brag about. It's like a Brahmin drive gone wrong. It's supposed to be a gate north, but you come here, you get caught in the pen. Better to head back home. If you don't have a gun and a will, don't matter much what you do when you reach here, except stare at that fucking monument outside. <laughs> uh, that fucking monument outside? Don't even tell me you missed it coming in. It's like NCR showing its dick to all the East. <laughs> if the Republic put as much effort into protecting the East as they put into those two asinine giants outside, then they'd be worth that monument. Statues of two men shaking hands covered in blood. Don't seem to be nothing to brag about. I don't know what you mean by covered in blood. It looks like two giant metal people, though. No blood. I'm speaking figurative. Ah, There's got you. blood on their damn hands. Of course, when Caesar comes walking through here, there'll be blood for real. And after the blood dries in the sun, he'll melt that piece of jet-induced sculpture down and reshape it into a bull, which, by my reckoning, is making up for a deficiency of his. But no matter what the stance <laughs> He's sure giving the West a good fucking. Well, all right though, all right then. What are those supposed to be? Uh, the statues that is. What are the, what is that? One's a ranger. One's an NCR trooper. 
supposed to represent unification of West and East, or some such shit. As far as those two iron lovebirds go, they've got more spine you'll see in a year from the NCR government. Um, so here's a speech check if you have a positive NCR affinity. Uh, or reputation, I should say. Uh, I think they're both rangers. One desert, one NCR. Hmm. Huh. Maybe you're right. Brim cats always throw me off. Well, fine, whatever. They can be shaking each other's dicks. Wouldn't change the mahogany now. <laughs> I like her sassiness and sarcastic nature. Uh, all right, never mind. I'll be going. You take care now. Wait, hold on. Is that all, is that all of her? You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Uh, why are you here at the bar? Whiskey and me are old friends. Keeps me going when times get rough. Like now. Got me into the caravan business, you know. Had to start transporting water instead of liquor, though. If I hadn't switched over, I'd end my trip with nothing but glass bottles rattling on the back of the Brahmin. I hear you, girl. Uh, let's talk about something else. What's on your mind? Um, uh, is there any work around here? If you're looking to sign on with the caravan, no. Traders are bottled up tight here. Caravan works up north. Check with the Crimson Caravan, maybe. Gun runners might have work. Wouldn't know for sure, though. Still, if you got a gun, guts, and you're feeling like going on patrol, might be some of the soldiers around here have work for you. All right, running and gunning sounds pretty interesting. Jackson might have something for you if you haven't already spoken to that old buzzard. He was looking to try to get troops to clear the North Road. You can find him over in the other building. The one without a bar. Got you. Any other work? I don't know. Seems to be a lot of attention on Nipton. Word is, one of the snipers in the nest on the roof spotted smoke from the east. Sniper on the roof? I think you mean ghost, right? Yeah. Her name's Ghost or something. Fucking scary. <laughs> Guess it's because you'll never see her till you're dead. NCR and their goddamn nicknames. As if Caesar himself's gonna piss and run if he hears them. Anyway, go on and head up top. Ask her what's going on if you haven't already. I don't much give a shit. Ah, uh, makes sense. All right, well, I'll be gone then. You take care now. Will do. So, fun fact, Cass uh, is a potential companion later on. But I don't think... I don't think they call that sniper on the roof... Well, she's no longer on the roof because when we got here, she decided to run off. Now she's right here. So I don't think they call her ghost because she's a sniper. I think they call her ghost because... She's pale. Can I push her to the roof? Oh, God. Uh, even if I wanted to, I think this would... Oh, God. Get... You're gonna get everybody killed if you don't go and provide... Sniper Overwatch. I like her hat. And her outfit, actually. Alright, that looks very inappropriate. All right, so let's go ahead uh, and activate. So, heartache by the number. We will be doing this eventually, but right now let's go and rescue some, whoops, some people really quick. Oh, that's far. All right, let's fast travel to Nipton. Save us literally just a couple of minutes. And then we'll make our way in that direction. Look, all the people are still here dead. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I have? Um, tribal raiding armor. I don't have legion, a legion outfit. Look at Volpez's head. I don't want any of this. What I want is that freaking um. What is it called? Ooh, dude, this... This gun looks nice. Alright, let's, uh... Let's be careful, because we're going into Nevada now. Welcome to the Nevada. To the Nevada? What the fuck am I talking about? Welcome to Nevada. The Silver State. Oh! What? That was nice. Wait a minute. 
Um, how do I only have four energy cells? OC? I don't know what that means. I don't know. It's been a long time since I played this game, alright? Don't judge me. I guess for now I'll use my uh, plasma pistol. Just to be safe. Oh, wait, I remember this. I should probably go into sneak here shortly. I do remember this. Hold on. Gotta be careful around. There he is. Let's switch views. I don't even think I can shoot him from here. Oh, no. Ooh. She got melted, bro. Alright, there's still more. Oh, up there. I see him. There, yeah, there's very little chance I'm gonna hit her, hit them from here. Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh no. Alright, we need a stim pack already. Um, we'll use a super stim pack. Oh! Where did you come from? You know, this gun is freaking strong, dude. I'll take some medics, though. Where are they at? Oh, I see them. Holy shit, dude. They're, they're really hurting me bad. Come on, stop moving. Aw, oh, man. They just... <laughs> they're over there shooting bighorns. Alright, for some reason my uh, headset lost... Audio, so I definitely have to fix that. So sorry for that weird cut. For now, though, we have to find old boys. Well, I'm assuming they're boys, but I don't know. Where are they at? I want to go up here. Oh, there they are. How? How? Oh, dude, that's far. Come on and go. Oh, so close. Go! I really gotta stop wasting my ammo. It's not like energy cells are coming, you know, all willy-nilly right now. Let's check this guy out. Maybe if we're lucky, he has uh, energy cells. Uh, no. I've always liked that outfit, or that hat. And the outfit, actually, I was, uh... Fuck, dude, I really want to kill these guys, but... Oh, no. Alright, how can I do this? Both of these guys have 10 millimeter submachine guns. Come on, just come down here, please. So I can take you guys out. Alright. You guys are screwed. Oh. Alright, let's check this guy out. Or 9mm submachine guns, my bad. I said 10mm, didn't I? Sorry, sweetheart, but, um. You're done. Look at her getting vaporized. All right. What does this do? Temporary addiction removal. All right, we're good. How far are we from? Uh, uh, oh, we're not far at all. We gotta be careful though. Dun dun dun. 
God, dude, that the the sounds in this game pretty creepy at times because you're so isolated and alone. All right, I want to look over here really fast. Ammunition. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely yes. Uh, I'll take this too, but I'm probably gonna sell this. Hold on, uh, microfusion cells, is that for my other pistol? Yeah, dude, so this, I need microfusion cells. Right, I kind of wanted to use this really fast, though. See if, uh, if it's worth it. The other pistol, though, is pretty freaking good, though. I don't see anything. This ranch is all alone. It's creepy. Alright, screw it. Let's go. We got some people to save. Damn it. I want some laser rifles. That's what I really want. Ooh. Is that a caravan trader? I actually think we're close to where the people are. It is caravan traders. They Actually, they're right there. Uh, hey there. Need anything? Uh, I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Here's what I got. Um. So she's got a pretty good amount of uh mods, anti-material, anti-material parts. Damn, that's expensive. Uh, drained energy cells. Energy cells. I'll definitely be taking those. Energy cell overcharged. I'll take them anyways. Laser pistol. No. Alright. I think we're good with this. What do you have? Hey there, need anything? Maybe. Sure, here's what I got. 22 LR, 357 Magnum Revolver. Hmm. No, this guy doesn't have much of anything. The lady had, well actually, some more energy cells. All right, I'll get that stuff. I already have the laser pistol. Um, plasma defender. Interesting. I don't have anywhere near the amount of money I need to be able to buy this, though. Tri beam laser. I don't have enough money for that either. Can't I make a tri beam laser rifle? Oh, this is a laser rifle, though. Crap. I need money. These guys are just mercenaries, huh? Alright. Well, let's do a quick save. And then, uh... Because we should be... We should be pretty close. Yeah, we are. We're literally right next to it. Oh, that's it, I think. Right over there. What are these guys doing? Let's see if we can snipe them from here. Oh, God. Alright. Enough for the sneaking. Ah! And I got some, uh, caravanners helping me out. Goodbye, homie. You're done, skis, bruh. Ah! Die! I don't care if I'm hated. I'll take your money, though. Awesome. I'll take that. Purified water. Don't mind if I do. And I'll take the dynamite. Because right now, I might as well... 
I only have one dynamite. Eh, screw it. I did, uh, kind of, sort of, use up all my dynamites when I was killing all of Vul Vulpes and Colta's people. There they are. Uh oh. Ah! Alright, let's get some headshots. Unlimited power! Yes, I know, retribution. Die! Dude, this thing fires pretty nicely. Vilified, hell yeah. Screw the Legion. I'll take your money. There's still more people over there. I'll go over there in a second. I kind of want to look around really fast. And I'm not even going to save them just yet. Because I got an idea. Maybe I can get some criticals. Wait, hold on. Aww. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, let me get a sneak attack critical. Ah! Retribution. Oh shit, dude. I messed him up bad. Woo wee. We're kicking ass. Come on, Retribution. Juke mode. Zigzag. 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 Oh god. Alright, let's get some headshots. You're done, skis, bro. Oh god. There we go. There we go. One more, baby. Done. Done. Honestly, the Legion, they don't stand a chance against me. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you don't stand a chance. I think I could use that uh, cowboy repeater to fix my other one. Yep. Nice, and I should be able to take a take a nap. Woohoo! Foot Locker. Is this worth it though? Let me see. Nope, not worth it. Not gonna lose reputation over a few caps. All uh, right, where are these people at? Right there. Hey, I know you guys are losers and all, but you guys are free to go. Goodbye, losers. Dude, we absolutely destroyed everybody. And we leveled up. Alright, so we're level 6. Let's go with... Let's go with a little bit of speech, dude. I am low. Well, hold on. For now, we'll go with speech. Um, Can I get bloody mess? Wait, hold on. Um. Hmm. Bloody mess. Yes, I can. Yes. Done. It's official now. Alright, well, now that that's done, let's go... They went that way. Now we gotta go find the men who killed us. Or tried to kill us. What am I talking about? Whoops. Alright, it's just north, so we're not that far away. Let's just get our little mighty pistol. This weapon doesn't do as much damage. Does it tell you how much damage it does? Um, 50 DPS, 11 damage. This does 64 DPS, 32 damage. Damn, the plasma pistol is significantly stronger. We'll keep the we'll keep the laser weapon, the laser pistol for now. But uh, for now, actually, let's make our way to the road so we're not running around in the middle of the 
desert and get lost. The next thing you know, we get dehydrated and die. What is that way over there? I don't know. I can't tell. What is that? Or is it just nothing? Honestly, dude, I think it's just a bush. <laughs> oh no, it is something. What is that? Oh, it's just a mole rat. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting no damn mole rat again. What the hell is this guy? Also... Viper Gunslinger? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Maybe I should get my plasma pistol for this one. Ah! Alright. Luckily, these guys are not that strong. Alright, let's get some headshots. Dude, this guy looks ridiculous. Done. That was easy enough. Metal armor. Don't really. I like the look of metal armor, but I don't really have a need for metal armor. So, wait a minute. Where am I going? What was I originally looking at? Oh, yeah. There's a dead body somewhere around here. There we go. This guy. Look at that. There's a lot of other. What are they? Bright follower. Ooh, laser rifle! I'll take it. Brother, bright brotherhood robe. It only has a DT of two. That's not very good, so I'm not taking it. I want to get close enough to be able to use vats on these guys. There we go. I just want to know what what are what these guys are. So now that I know it's a shitload of freaking vipers, I'm just gonna leave them alone. Ooh, what's this place? Oh, is this that one NCR base? I think it is, actually. Oh, God. Who's fighting them? Are those the... I think that was... You know what? I'm going to switch to my... Plasma pistol. For now. I wonder... Who they just killed. I don't know. Let's look around. It's empty. Mysteriously empty. Take a nap. Oh no! They found me. Where are they? Wait, who's this guy? Oh, this is a mercenary. Who are they shooting at? I'm so confused right now. Oh, and there's an NCR Ranger sleeping in there. What? No, those... Okay, I wanna... Hold on. Get out of that. That's so slow in this game. I don't know what those things are. I'm very curious. Oh, uh, well. Ouch. It looks like that was a a legion person. Where's that one uh NCR ranger ranger that was sleeping? How come I showed a ranger sleeping but I can't find him anywhere? Oh, look, here he is. Hi. 
Got business here? Um, no. Do you? All right, let's check in here. Hello. McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military outposts. So if you're here on business, better make it quick. Uh, I kind of sort of just wanted to talk. Uh, what's this about McCarran? Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give the supplies back, either. Uh, mind if I take some of those medical supplies? Uh, I shouldn't have said anything in the first place. And I'd rather not get you into the habit of crossing the NCR. I'm... Um, just asking politely. What is this place anyways? Ranger Station Charlie. We're responsible for keeping the highway up through Novak civilized. Okay, anything unusual happen around here? All quiet at the moment. Ranger Beaumont is in charge here, but he's off leading a patrol. Oh, okay. Uh, tell me about the Rangers. We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say 8 out of 10 recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your Ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow, and more ferocious than a Deathclaw. Okay. Are there a lot of Rangers in the Mojave? A couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this one. We either man the station or patrol the immediate area. How does someone become a ranger? The rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. Sounds pretty cool. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Uh, goodbye. See you around. <laughs> All right. Um, doesn't look like there's anything spectacular, and that's marked for stolen, so I can't take that all right can i take a nap yes i can hello there it's good to see a friendly face i almost took you for a raider i did name's malcolm malcolm holmes don't suppose you'd care to trade i'm missing a few essentials and ah oh, screw this line just ain't in my nature i'll tell it to you straight I've been following you for a good bit now. Um, why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. So what's so special about these bottle caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. And where can I find more of these? I think I have, like, a handful already. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it. Hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. So you mentioned a man named Festus. He wouldn't be a part of uh, the Adams family, would he? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war standing a lonely vigil waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands that'll make him pretty damn old but i've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him and they weren't the lying type either so he is a part of the adams family got it uh so i'm assuming you collect them too nah i gave it up years ago too dangerous and even if i did still collect them i'd tell you the same there's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Yeah, I remember seeing um, someone attack someone else not that long ago, as a matter of fact. But what kind of treasure exactly are we talking about? Because I'm kind of intrigued. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Well, I mean, regardless of what all of that information is, 
I really appreciate the information, but I have to really be going now, though. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Alan Marks. Got it. Well, there's nothing here for us anyways. Um... So let's go ahead and continue going down the road. Alan Marks. I have a feeling I'm going to end up forgetting who that is. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll remember. It's going to be one of those things that I'm going to remember as soon as I see him. Like, I'll, I'll see his name and just automatically remember. Look, it's a dinosaur. I kind of want to use that laser rifle. Hold on, let's compare the laser rifle, well, rifle and the laser pistol. Um, 64 DPS and 17 damage. 11 damage, 50. So everything about the laser rifle is superior. This uses, uses microfusion cells. This uses energy cells. And then this right here uses energy cells. So this... The two pistols use energy cells. Okay. Alright. So, the good thing is that I have weapons that use two different ammo types. Oh god. Wait a minute, who's this? Oh, that's that mercenary. Can I talk to this mercenary? You. Howdy. Okay, no. Bye. Let's go towards that gigantic dinosaur. We should be in the clear now, though. Come on, baby. Oh, look, more people. They don't look like bad people to me, so no bad. Cool. Hello. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. First of all, why do you care? You're miles away from them. Oh wait, let's talk to this uh caravan guy. Come here, this merchant. Are these the same people we saw earlier? How did they get here before us? Hey there. Need anything? It is. Sure, here's what I got. How did they get here before us? Weird. Um, doesn't have any more chainsaw teeth? No. Plasma Defender, I want that Plasma Defender. Try beam laser. I want that too, actually. Alright. Sucks, but I can't afford any of that. What's in this tent? It looks like... A cooking place? Yeah, it's a kitchen of some sort. Alright. There's nothing on the outside. It appears. So let's go towards the dinosaur. Oh, look, it's Victor. Hi, Victor. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit <laughs> if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Uh, what are you doing in Novak, Victor? Don't rightly know. Just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. So what's the story with this place? Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started. Watch yourself. First of all, you have no skin, Victor. Uh, second of all, why? Uh, but it's nice to see a friendly face out here. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Um, you said the... I don't think he told me this.
I could use some uh, abandoned supplies. Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. All right, we'll do. So you said that the men that jumped me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. Yeah, I didn't think so. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. All right, see you later, Victor. Be seeing you. Toodaloo. All right, he said, check the front desk. You, lady, come here. No, what are you doing? Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Oh, uh, we haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. What is this place exactly? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Um, so what's been going around town lately? Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. Ooh, snipers. They've been a blessing. Um, so there's a there's an uh a ranger here apparently. So I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Have you seen anyone like that by any chance, ma'am? Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. What? Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper up in the dinosaur's mouth. Oh, nice. So where can I get some supplies? Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, what is there, uh, what is there of interest around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Uh, anything else? Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Nice. Uh, tell me more about this Repcon place. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers. Um, if you say so. So she said it's pretty quiet around here, or at least that it has been quiet. Um, all right, we're gonna go check out Dinky. All right, let's check in here. Ranger Andy's bungalow. What's up, Mister Mister Ranger hey, Man? We haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Uh, you're with the NCR, right? Was, was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Actually, just, uh... Uh, yeah, would it... Would it... Would you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? It's weird, because I just went there. 
All right, would you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. So, what do you do here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. So I'm assuming Boone and Andy are the snipers. So tell me about the Rangers. They're the NCR's finest. A one-man platoon, each of them. You got a job where even thinking about it would scare a man senseless? That's when you bring in the Rangers. And if you see a squad of veterans, guys who are in their black armor, well, you won't find a more beautiful sight. All right, cool. Uh, did you uh, do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there, and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. Hey, what exactly did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. Oh god. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. <laughs> uh... Oh, wait. Uh, hey, just because you're idle and you'll never walk again, I forgot where I was going with that. That sounds rude. I wouldn't say that even if I had the speech. All right. See you later. Hey, uh, wait a sec. I know what I said, but... If you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Alright. Well, he gave me something. Uh, miscellaneous, maybe? No. Uh, miscellaneous over here. Ranger Andy is hoping, uh, hoping to learn more about why the... Why he's lost radio contact with the NCR garrison at Ranger Station Charlie. Alright. Let's go, let's go check up on that really fast. Before we progress any further. But it's starting to seem a little fishy. Krim has a new sheriff. Yes. That should keep the powder game. We know. Away. Luckily, it's literally just right there. Here, let's go ahead and put this away really fast. Just so that we can walk a little bit. Or run a little bit faster. Look at this mercenary again. I swear, I've seen you like six times just today, lady. I don't know why I have to go back there though, because I already been there. And there was nobody there. But it does seem pretty fishy if you ask me. Dun dun dun. Alrighty. I wonder, they, they're probably gonna talk shit like, yeah, dude, that guy, he just won't leave us alone. We figured if we just ignore him, he'll just forget about us. You know what I mean? Why do I hear something? Uh, it's probably some of the ambient sounds. The sounds do a very good job of sounding creepy, though. nothing all right uh let's go in here and talk to old boy again what the fuck uh give me the hollow tape that's log two oh fuck oh there's another one right here log one let's listen to these turn the raiders off no casualties. In the meantime, patrol's back. They're late. 
I hope they got a good excuse. What took... This is a message to the NCR from the Legion. We are coming for you. Run, and we will catch you. Hide, and we will find you. No matter what you do, you are all going to die. We took one of the women alive. Oh, no. NCR trooper, mantle armor. I think I already have a mantle helmet, but I'm going to take it anyways. Uh, just to fix my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I definitely didn't want to close the door. All right. <laughs> I'll take this just to repair. I'm like super encumbered though. Oh! Ow! Luckily there's a bed right here. All right. NCR Ranger, 357 Magnum Revolver. I'll take the rounds though. Ranger Patrol Armor, hell yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and start fixing some of this because I am extremely encumbered. Alright. Where's the hats? Um. Damn, dude, I'm still encumbered. Here, let's uh, get rid of this hat. I don't want it. We really need to get to um, Vegas, man. I mean, I guess I could get rid of this. I don't even have ammo for it anyways. So let's get rid of the service rifle. Throwing spears. I suppose I could get rid of the varmint rifle. I'll get rid of this, even though it's pretty low, I think. Cowboy repeater? Oh, no. I'm going to have to drop my cowboy repeater, I think. It's five pounds, though. Yeah, we'll take that, because I do want the NCR Ranger armor. Um. Well, there's no point of keeping that. Is this temporary? I think it is temporary. So let's drop that. Let's eat this. Um. Oh, I'm already underweight. All right, nice. Damn, dude. They didn't have a... They didn't have a note or anything, huh? Alright, so does did the quest update? Uh, quest. I don't think I even had a quest. Alright, well let's go back. And tell good old Ranger Andy that they're pretty much dead. That just happened too then. Because we literally just drove by, I mean, not drove. It's not like I have a freaking car. But, uh, yeah, we literally just walked by there. And, yeah, that sucks. Alright, come on, let's go. The crazy thing, too, is that that's a little small military installation and the, and the uh, Legion destroyed them. Which means... Novak is probably next. Look how close it is, dude. It's literally walking distance. You can see both of them from each other. Like, I don't know. That's sad. We had just talked to them too, man. That's that's pretty sad. Oh, well. Shit happens. I guess they, they knew what they were getting into when they signed up, right? That just makes it more important... That we uh, absolutely eradicate the scum of the earth that is the Legion. But let's go tell uh, good old Ranger Andy the unfortunate news. 
recruit him as a new sheriff. That should keep the powder king. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. I did it. Ranger Andy. Any word on Station Charlie? Ah. <sighs> so about that. I ended up going to Ranger Station, but everyone there unfortunately was wiped out. What? What happened? Um. Yeah, the members of Caesar's Legion ambushed them. Those were good men at that station. Good men. This whole town was sleeping a lot easier because of them. Now, who knows what we're in for? The Legion? Christ. We'd be better off with raiders. Well, thanks for telling me. I know that knowledge didn't come without risk. Tell you what. I'll pay for what you did, but I'll do you one better, too. There's a move we have in the Rangers for knocking an opponent off his feet. Save my butt a bunch of times. Maybe it will for you, too. Let me show you how it's done. All right, cool. New unarmed techniques. Uh, technique. Ranger takedown. You've learned the Ranger uh, takedown special move. To use this technique, initiate a power attack while moving backwards. You'll drop your opponent to the ground. Ooh. Accepted. NCR. Uh, folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Is that all? Is that all you gotta say? You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. Um, yep, that's all I got. Look out for yourself. Alright. So, I think we're good for t for now, for this video. We're definitely gonna continue on with the story here uh, in Novak. In the next video, we're definitely gonna be looking inside of Dinky, which is that dinosaur, apparently. And finding out exactly what the situation is with the snipers too. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.